All right, here we are on the run and drive video of our uh, one owner, 1988 Dodge Dakota Sport. Got it parked here a little bit in the shade because it's so sunny out. I don't, not sure if all the lights would show up, but factory uh, Bosch fog lights work great. You can see all the four-way flashers, the headlights and turn signals are super bright and clear. Take you around here. You can see the license plate lights working. Uh, really cool to see even on this truck even the original license license plate uh, Screws are in the front and the back bumper still they've never even been replaced you can see the blinker glowing nice and slow and this is a uh, protective um, License plate so it's just a magnet put it up there in case it falls down it lands in the bed You have the original Dodge Dakota fog light covers of course that come with it you Got the key for the uh, for the uh, lug nuts, but I'll put that in the glove box for you. You know, it does have those soft little dings here, soft little ding here. Just want to, uh, I went over that in the other video, but I'll show here too. The Carfax shows a little uh, accident a long time ago, but as you'll see just below this light, you know, so obviously the bumper was replaced, I'm assuming, but it's a Dodge bumper and it's got the wear and tear of a, you know, 30 year old bumper, so there's just that little bit there. So we'll go ahead and get ready to rumble here. We'll turn off the four ways. You can hear the buzzer works. You shut the door. You can see the fog light switch is lit up. So we'll get ready to go. We'll do the blinkers individually. You can see those come on, all the gauges work. The gauges are super clear. Um, you know, it's got, just had the oil changed. We'll do um, overdrive off, light comes on, nice. You know, of course, um, you know, windows roll up really nice and smooth on both sides. I mean, there's no hanging up. Door felts are in excellent condition. You know, no scratches in the window or anything. Mirrors work as they should. You know, this one obviously goes good. I gotta adjust that one anyway. No windows roll up and down. I'll just do this one real quick here. Doors lock nice. Nobody's ever messed with these and replaced these things. You know, seat belts are, um, you know, you pull back. You gotta do it a couple times to get it to go. Uh, kind of typical stuff. Headliner sagging a little bit. Um, it seems to, um, on the uh, cold weather, it seems to pull itself up a little bit. It's kind of interesting, you know, all this. So we'll get the, uh, you can hear the fan work real good. Never smoked in. You can see the inside of this ashtray. Hopefully you can see that in this mint condition. Um, I'll get pictures of that too. You can see the cigarette lighters never work. This does work. I've had my cell phone charger in there before. Um, it's cool to see it's got three of its original Dodge keys with the Chrysler emblem. It's also got these ones too with the glove box, you know, all its original books, the sales brochures, dealer plate frames. That stuff is, uh, to me, is, is that's why I love buying one owner vehicles. I mean, for somebody to keep a vehicle for this many years, you know, 33 years, um, Obviously, it was more than just a truck to them. You know, they they loved it and they took care of it clearly. Um, so we'll go ahead and get the wipers going. But it is uh, warm out, so I won't get them going too long because I don't want the brand new wipers. Um, so all right, we're gonna go ahead and hit the road. We'll go ahead and go forward here. I'll stop. Put it in reverse. Just because you don't get to do the reverse too much on the, uh, oh, I think I have the intermediate wipers on. Um, so I'll roll up the window so we don't get too much wind noise. Um, also, I'll turn the stereo on. It's cool, it's got the adjuster. I'll turn it down a little bit, but right front, left front, left rear, right rear. So you know they're all working. It's just killer. All the Look at all the buttons are really nice and clear. It sounds, you know, not real crackly or anything, but sounds like an 80s, early 90s stereo. Um, it's all right, we'll be going here. We've got about three quarters of the tank, but I will fill this up for you. We'll top it off. Does not have a tack, um, so you won't see the RPMs changing. It does have tilt steering though, which is sweet. I'll put it down a little bit. Hopefully you can see the gauges. Um, I'm gonna go for that 
Runs really nice and smooth. You need a full tune-up, oil change. Um, everything's been serviced on it. The brakes were recently done. The tires are in good shape. They're not very old, so some of the stuff was already done for us by the original owner. Just you know, uh, you can see great maintenance underneath it. Um, I did forget to pop the hood, so I'll pull over after the drive, pop the hood, so you can see this, this little six-cylinder just whistling. But you can see great maintenance under the hood. Uh, you know, you can see the radiator hoses have been replaced. You can see this road's real crappy, and it's just soaking them up. Um, amazingly, it doesn't have AC, but I have it on blue, and uh, it's 70-some degrees out right now, and it is blowing a little bit of cool air on me, so I'm not sure how it's cooling down, but it feels kind of good. But, um, what was I saying? So I will do the, the driving video, but... Um, you, know, you can see really good maintenance on the hood. You can see the valve cover gaskets were done. The hoses were replaced at some point. All the belts are good. And we didn't do that stuff. You know, that stuff was done by the owner um, with the love and care for this thing. But we did have the tune-up done, spark plugs, cap rotor, wires, air filter, you know, all that stuff. Um, it wasn't bad, but um, it was cool. It was actually had Mopar parts on there. Um, unfortunately, with COVID, we couldn't get Mopar parts for quite a while. Um, so we went with the best that we could get over the shelf. And... Uh, you know, good eight millimeter wires, all that stuff. So it overdrive is off, and I'm gonna go ahead and turn it back on. And you, hopefully, you could hear it and kind of see it shift up. You know, I'm going at 60 miles an hour. The speedometer, you know, the needle bounces a little bit when I let off the accelerator. I'm back on it now; it kind of stays steady. Gonna go ahead and stand on it a little bit. Downshift, you can see it's not smoking or nothing. You can see the rearview mirror. You know, I'm doing 70. It just cruises nice and straight. I mean, these tires, I know some people probably want the black walls out, which I probably would prefer to, but it just got that old man look, you know, and to me, that is this truck, you know, that was owned by an older man. Obviously, he wasn't old uh, when he bought it. The cruise control is on right now at 57. You can see my foot's off, and I'm cruising here. It's not changing. So that works nice. I mean, everything works on this truck. Everything is here and intact. And uh, it doesn't matter if it's a Chevy Chevette or a Chevy Corvette. It, it's great to see this stuff. You know, it's cool to see this stuff still with the truck, the original brochures, dealer plate frames, all that stuff. Um, I just, you know, probably, you know, seven, eight years ago, uh, that stuff really wouldn't be appreciated on an 88 Dakota, but, uh, you know, sport model. A lot of times you'll see this truck and you'll think it's the Shelby one, the convertible, because they, most of them were red and black or white and black. So that's kind of the first initial look. It's got the same wheels and everything. And here's a pothole. It just soaks them up nice. The most rattly you're going to get is my keys and the license plate frames in here. Um, but for me, I'd prefer, I want the top. I don't want one of those convertibles. They're a nightmare. Um, I looked at buying one a long time ago. It only had 34,000 miles, and it was just the windows and doors and top and interior were a disaster. But this thing is just killer. And it, it is true. Dodge has always advertised the only true midsize pickup. Until now, that you look at the Tacoma and the Ranger, they're all true midsize. But the Dakota has always been there, always been the first original uh, midsize pickup. And what I love the most about this is I have a 90 Dodge Cummins, and you park these things next to each other, um, and it's just like the baby Dodge and the big Dodge. I mean, they look so similar. And if this was the same colors, if this was black and silver, or my 90 Cummins was red and black, I'd probably have to keep this little girl. Um, but you can see going through the 90 S curves, here I'm in the brakes, brakes really nice and smooth, no shaking or pulling. And you can see, um, that's just the, um, yeah, some stuff I got the glove box moving around in there um, but you can see it doesn't have any ball joint no tie rod slop and it, it's just just the right amount of st steering it's a 90 corner and you know if you're going too far like way over here just to turn you know your steering box and all kinds of front-end issues but it's just the right amount of resistance kind of steering wheel kind of pulls on you and when you let go it wants to return so um, really nice condition. I mean, it doesn't, you could replace everything, and I don't think this truck could drive any smoother or tighter. Um, it's just a wonderful truck, you know, one owner. Anytime you can grab a truck or vehicle that's over 15 years old and be the second owner, it's incredible, uh, let alone something that's well over twice that in age. Uh, so, this will go to second owner. One thing that's really cool about this truck, it's the original first title. 
Um, so you'll get a 1988 title with your 1988 truck. And that's just cool because that stuff does get lost and replaced. Um, so good luck, everybody. I hope you appreciate the video. If you need another one or some more photos, just let me know. Thank you.